Hi guys! So this time this curious bear, Mama Bear, is all by herself without my Joey. So instead, I have Sister Bear. Hi Sister Bear! Hello! We are going up to the cemetery here and I brought a few tributes. Um, we'll show those here when we settle in. And, <laughs> but I figured a nice little porcelain doll and a rose. Ooh, we already got a word. And we're gonna see if we can find um, a mother, daughter, or mother, child, and do a little tribute. So there's been a lot of arguments with other people that I've had about like, a cemetery is not haunted because of the dead, it's haunted because those who have died but mourned those that they visit. So a tribute to a mother and child would essentially be a tribute to the mother because she would see that you were loving her child. We don't have the Necrophonic app, but what? I've gotten this word. Okay. What are you getting? <laughs> Let's see. I've gotten um, on bed near death <laughs> so far. <laughs> I wow. had just cleared it, but it, st it still popped up with on bed. Okay. So don't clear it now when you're going. Not. <laughs> All right, and Lizzie here. Ta-da, it's a Lizzie. Come on, me. So Lizzie here is going to show us one that she's seen before. <laughs> Excuse me. So. I do really miss my Joey though, because having my bear means that I can go anywhere and instead, we're going to safe places for the next month because I don't want to be hassled and have to shoot a video where I beat somebody down. I'm just kidding. I'm too nice for that. Well, I'm kind of nice for that. We have mother and daughter. I know, it's a little boy. Do you see people? These are the sweet tributes. So we have his little trucks and his little wagon there in front of his, which is odd because the boy was old enough to play sports. So he wasn't little when he passed away. Super old ones okay. You'll remember as we go. It's like this one. Angel unaware, Diane K. Laureen. And then underneath it. is our loving mother, Catherine Lawrence. Born 1920, passed away 1994. And the one up here is 1954 to 1984. So she was 30 when she passed. That's very sweet to do that though. This cemetery is really neat to me because it's almost like the graves overlap. So you have these ones here where the, you know, the person's coffin is here and then almost overlapping, you have these people down here and their coffins are pointing this way. Do you find it? Okay. So through here, I have to be careful not to step on graves. As you can see, I have a kind of a blank spot here that I'm going to use. It's definitely her, her baby. Well, it's her daughter, yeah. Her and son. But they were both grown children. Like, I'm nervous, but they have a different Oh, costume. look at that. It's a little boy, Blake. Mm -hmm. He was alive for one year. Stronger. 
Okay, can you think of any others that are kind of close like that? I'd really like to find a little girl with her mom. I hear you, the, so Lizzie's um, app today is going to pick up some phone or some phones. Haha. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's going to pick up some. We can't really see it. Words here. My phone is dirty. This one just keeps repeating near death. Yeah. So. Oh. <sighs> Hmm? M-O-O, -O, mother, S-F-L. Oh, in the wrong spot. I'm sorry, families. I apologize. It's very hard to get around through here because the way that the graves overlap hard to tell where it's safe to walk. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you can see this, but Mabel, 1876 to 17... Or excuse me, to 1975. That woman was 99 years old. That's amazing. Time so different. Anyone here while I'm looking, you can speak to me into my phone. It's still like over again. Like, it keeps making the growling noise at me like there's a new word and it's near death. Wow. Any luck? Okay. Quite a few people in this town are got to age well. This water so good. <laughs> right. And that service announcement was brought to my daughter. Hi. Hi. Drink water. You'll live forever. And it looks like this side of the cemetery down here actually has older. Have been here for I was actually looking for like a family plot area. Um, a lot of the ones in Nevada, you know, you'd, you'd go out and there would be a whole screw of, you know, the whole slew of names, um, all family members connected. And I am sorry, people. I do not mean to step on your stones. I just cannot navigate easily through this place. Did he yell at me? off somebody said <laughs> off I am so sorry I moved quickly <laughs> hmm Oh, 
Oh, right on. Oh my god. All right, so excuse my hands here, kids. Ooh, there we go. Drops phone into the thing. I know, right? Drops phone into the, the side. The fun thing is, that's amazing. They open. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a chance. I don't want to be too disrespectful though. They open all the time or something. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> okay. So this guy has a beer and yeah. Well, you know, I'm gonna snack with a friend. That makes sense to me. There's nothing. Another loving tribute: beer and a snack. That's sweet. I'm gonna run through that fucking freeway right now, man. You can't. <laughs> I know the wind is picking up. I hope it doesn't ruin any sounds that I'm trying for. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so we have Autumn Bree Fredson, and she was born on March 4th mm -hmm. and lived until the 13th of March in 1979, and her mother and father are buried right next to her, so we're going to pay tribute here. Bring him. Bring him. Okay, Autumn Bree, we have a little doll for you that I might play with a little. And we have a rose for Mother. So yeah, a nice little rose for Mother Mary and her daughter Autumn. And Lizzie's going to spread out the blanket because I just left her a big old hint. You want to set it up against the tree here? Well, okay. Thanks, mm -hmm. It looks like Mary there. passed away just three years after, their, after <clears throat> her granddaughter. So I was wrong, you guys. I'm sorry. But I'm guessing grandparents do to, so oh, this helps if I hold the camera correctly. <laughs> so if you guys do the math, it looks like grandma and grandchild. But for little baby Autumn here, we're just gonna sit. And just so you guys know, today I am actually wearing the right shoes and pants. <laughs> Even though I'm not being attacked by blackberries. William Ted was a Masonite. You can see by his symbol there. Lower. Lower? So is the mother down there, you think? Hi, guys. If you want to say anything to me, I'll be, I'm listening. Come toward the beeps and it'll, we can hear you. Right. Yeah. Since Lizzie has Apple on her phone <laughs> and not Google Play, and feel that. free for Google Play to pay me for that. <laughs> um, so we're using hers, which is, we actually had a lot of fun with this app too. Um, it's called Ghost Hunter. Yeah. And it's got like a handprint on it. And that's how you know you're on the right one. Mm -hmm. um, this one will just pick up words that it's able to use here in the dictionary at its own choosing. Mm -hmm. uh, we used it on a trip up from uh, Roseburg up to Diamond Lake. And then we used the, the same app different times on different phones. And we got almost the same words. Mm -hmm. uh, the craziest one was insects itching. I'm also, I also used it up at Diamond Lake when I was working up there and got, um, we were playing the piano up there and a, the woman that used to play the piano had like perfect pitch and it would drive her insane if somebody else was being disrespectful. And we had these 
these two people that got up to play the piano and it was like don't stop no it was like yelling at her, them I thought that was pretty amazing mm -hmm. me and dad used to get um, Lucille over and over again when we go to that cemetery out there in uh, Winchester wow so the sprinklers are on behind us Not a lot of shade out here, which is actually really surprising to me. I picked up <clears throat> I picked up this little doll at a second hand store yesterday. It's a remake doll from 1983 but I thought she was so pretty would make the perfect little gift for a little girl and Lizzie thought she was incredibly creepy so we both went and she's got little shoes on it's a very sweet little doll it's got her little top that you know her little and you'll have to correct me I can't remember what this part is called up here that comes off <laughs> Club. Okay. Well, this is the only like patch of ground where it's just like grass. There's a few like that where the grass just doesn't grow. Over here it's just the mm -hmm. There's a lot of sites out in Nevada where you'll go to the cemetery and it's just covered in child's graves. And it's because they come across and if they weren't strong enough or they couldn't handle the heat, their child would not survive the first three years. And it was really heartbreaking, but there was quite a few. There's son of Brents and Flora, Bring, Binger and Flora, born 1875, passed away 1870 or 1886, so 11 years old, 10. He wasn't quite 11 yet when he passed away. So I need everyone to put in their comments. Um, I want to, I'm in the Roseburg area. Okay. <laughs> now you know where I live. Um, we're in the Roseburg area. I, I want other places to hang out. And the ones that they've given me are, there's a place called Golden in Oregon. And it's a, like a three building area and they call it a ghost town. Um, then there's another spot down in Wolf Creek area where if you stay at the Wolf Creek Lodge, they'll let you mess around and, and do hunts in there. Ghost Adventures is there. Um, yeah, Ghost Adventures did that one. Uh, I haven't had a lot of my favorites like Omar from Omar Gosh TV, uh, <laughs> Joe from UGE Brothers, Rob, um, but I, I'd really like some other ideas because it's a lot harder to hunt here or to do adventures here because a lot of places are no litter, no loitering, no littering too, uh, no loitering. And uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to go to more places. I'd like to check out a lot more things. It's a beautiful tree. You want to tell me anything while I'm here? When I watch this video later, I'll be able to actually pick up any voices that are here, but for now it's, if it is haunted, it's haunted by memories. 
um, but nothing active talking to us except for the the one that told us off to get off of his person's grave. Um, I thought that was kind of neat. So we're going to walk back over to where he said off. Do you remember where it was? Yeah, right next to it. Um... Okay. So, excuse me while I'm standing up, guys. Can we hold it later? Yeah, I got it. Lizzie's going to fold it the blanket because I hinted to her. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, where the one gentleman said off, we're going to go over there. Because he visited his friend enough to be aware of when his somebody's touching his friend's grave. Oh, this is cute. I'm showing Lizzie's face. That face you're making was adorable. Gross. It was like a big ass spider on the back. Lizzie said ass. Oh my god. Ass. <laughs> All right. Really, tell me all about where your shorts are hiking up. That's awesome. Oh, up your butt cheek. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm going to come down this way. I'd like to do more night videos, but um, I will, I'd like to do a night video. I've never actually done one with you guys. But I have to have my Joey, and in this town you have to have permission, so. There's a couple of cool ones that are open at night out there by Winchester. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. There's Governor Morgan. You can also go to the General Joseph Lane House, but again, you have to have permission. General Joseph Lane High School, that's why I went. Yes, <laughs> or, to Joe school. Lane. Bank. Okay, so where was your the off you think down here? Yeah. Take advantage of the shade. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thee are with me. That's sweet. She said skin. Skin? Skin. That's not creepy. That's sweet. To really love someone. It doesn't have their birth date because... <clears throat> okay, so... <laughs> this is neat, actually, to me. There was a lot of times where somebody would be born in a hospital and their paperwork was in the hospital. They didn't keep company records or you didn't send it to the county records or state records. It was information either kept in a church or at the hospital or if it was a Catholic hospital, it would be both. <laughs> so, but then if the church burned down or if water damage happened, it would delete all the records. So a lot of times somebody would be born in a certain year and date, but there would be no proof of their birth. My Nana was one of those. So she had, she would lie about her age regularly, somewhere a four year age gap. She would be 16 telling people she was 20. She'd be 18 telling people she was 16. She loved to play the guess my age game because nobody knew. And until the day she passed away, we had to take her word for it when her birthday was because <laughs> her hospital burned down. So this is another one like that. We have Emma May. It has no birth, but she was 25 years, nine months and 10 days old. So either she knew her own birth year or her husband had figured out the math. Or her parents knew. Or her parents knew. Depends on when. At 25 <laughs> years old, her mom's might have still been living yeah. to give that. Well, I mean, it's 1880, so I wouldn't be surprised if she yeah. wasn't. I like, like a rap old age. <laughs> I like the ones in Nevada where they're. Uh, I won't show the one down here. It's too recent and it might hurt someone's feelings. 
but out in Nevada they have ones that actually say things like John Smith died being kicked by a mule and there's no date of his birth and no date of his death he's <laughs> just a wooden stone or a wooden marker Ooh, a wooden stone. yeah a wooden stone uh -huh. <laughs> Keep it up and I'm going to show that on Facebook. Or I mean... On YouTube. <laughs> I am terribly sorry. <laughs> that was terrible of me to say. I meant to say it was YouTube. I will show all of YouTube my daughter making this face. Mm. <laughs> getting any other words? Wow. We got door. So I'm like, I have this weird thing in Tulsa. When I, I get door all the time, mm -hmm. so whatever grave I'm at, like, when I get door, I just knock on there. <laughs> ah. Just be like, hey, how's it going? Well, last, the last video we did, we had the thing say, don't go in the dark room. But we were in a creek, and they had to use the words in our phone or you know our app so I'm assuming what they meant to say was don't go in that dark area oh young girl's name was Queenie yep. hi Queenie Windy. oh she was a Queenie bee kidder <laughs> oh hi Queenie Mom just fell in love. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up her stone the more you love on those that loved them. I think it was her husband. Oh, that's the other thing she's saying. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, she was 65 years old when she yeah. passed away. That's brilliant. Yeah. So Another been, Hamilton and her husband. Were, he's 10 years old, maybe. And he died a year later. In November. Mass says so four years difference. Yeah. Yeah. 49, 45. Just kidding. Hi. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Sometimes I'm bad Lizzie is new. I'm bad at math. She's bad at really oh, bad yeah, at math. Years. Oh yeah, really bad at math. I went to Roseburg. Drink the water, you'll live forever. Yeah, that's the truth, bro. My freaking resident is 78 years old, and we have one girl that just turned 94. Wow. Drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> I just got louder. Louder. Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton. Asthma. Oh. Is that how they went? Maybe. Was it Queenie that passed of asthma or someone else? Oh, Susan Darling, that's so cute. Yeah. Alva and Bertha. I love the old names. Those are so neat. In like 40 years, there's going to be a whole bunch of graves where like, Athena, Serendipity. <laughs> okay. All, these All those hippie names that we give our children. Friend. Aww. Last name of friend. That's amazing. Oh, that was a cat. My mother. Aww. That's rude, FedEx, man. <laughs> so we're also close to the freeway probably see it behind me and the little community airport here so this is not a quiet video nor is this my usual adventurous video but I did get to bring my Betty along uh, I got to bring my sister bear all right sister bear we're gonna wrap it up they were born in 19, 1795 and died in 1865 wow 
the 6 VA Militia, War of 1812. That's Thank you, nice. Daniel, for your service. Thank you for being there. Thanks, man. All right, kids. So we're going to wrap this up. Oh, I got to hold my hand different. I'm cramping. Uh -huh. I know, right? <laughs> so I don't have a Joey, but I have a little bear. This one is Sister Bear. Hola. So these two curious bears are heading off to work. But um, we'll do another video, probably not here, but I might have Betty come with me for the next few weeks just to do our videos. And uh, we're gonna find some other probably cooler spaces. There's a couple places out and about where you can go down to the railroad tracks. I wanna check those out. Um, but I have to get my timing right. It can't be really loud in the day. But if we do a video, let's say after 10 o'clock at night when there's just a little bit of sun out, um, but it's mostly nighttime, and then post my video on a Monday, I'll still qualify. It still counts. <laughs> still counts. So, counts. still counts. So, until next time, we love you. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe to our channel. Please. And please do the notifications. Tell your friends. Um, I want to see how many people actually enjoy these videos and I know that I actually do these for me, for my son. Um, it's a great way to fight depression. If you guys suffered from depression, go ahead and find a goal. Find that one thing that gets you to the next week. And for my son, it's these videos and his girlfriend, of course. Hi Cameron, we love you. And, uh, Hi, and until you. next time, we'll see you guys. and. Bye! 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 <laughs>